no secret that today's digital age has given us screens that we look at all day, every day. But what about in our cars? Let's take a closer look. All right, so here we are with Jeremy Braddock. Jeremy, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me, Mike. So tell us a little bit about the, the Grand Sport uh, Corvette we have here. Uh, it's got a heads-up display on it, which means that your telemetry, I guess, is displayed on the windshield? I mean, how does that work? Yeah, actually the heads-up display uh, is going to actually project uh, your speed. Uh, they have different modes. They actually have street mode, track mode one and two. Uh, it's able to tell you on the screen your transmission temperature, your oil temperature, um, and as you're driving. It's a sports car, so sports car, any sports car, you want to keep your eyes on the road, and that's giving you the ability to do so. Excellent, excellent. And, and, and are you able to change the song, I guess you could say, and, and it'll come up on the windshield as well? Most definitely. Once again, driving, you want to keep your eyes on the road instead of having to reach over and turn the music knob, you're actually able to change it right in the steering wheel, and as you're doing so, it projects up onto the windshield. Wow, so and I guess you could say the complete polar opposite of the Corvette would be the Chevy Volt, um, which also has a screen, but in a different manner. It has a screen rather than any gauges whatsoever, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, the Volt, all electric car, uh, has a battery that is able to pretty much drive and function everything. It does have a nine gallon gas tank that the car does run on after the battery is depleted but uh, with any computer you need to be able to see what's going on and the Volt actually has two screens one for both the computer part of the Volt um, and the other part is for the functioning music stuff like that Wow! so so in entirely separate screens for different functions of the car whereas you would have your driving information on one screen and then your infotainment stuff like that on another screen 100% correct Wow! so uh, thank you again Jeremy for being with us today thank I appreciate you all your help and uh, Let's move on. Here we are at Mercedes-Benz, Danbury, Connecticut. We're with Guy. Guy, thanks for having us today. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about the Split View technology, uh, why we want to have it in our cars, and basically what it's all about. Well, this is a 2012 S550. Uh, it is optioned with that uh, Split View optioning. It's a $710 option, which is mod modestly priced. Um, it also gives you an opportunity for the passenger to view a video movie while the driver is driving, along with the driver uh, looking at a navigational system and navigating to wherever the destination may be. I consider it a great safety item and great entertainment value too. So basically it gives the passenger the ability to watch a movie and it gives the driver the ability to drive, basically. And, and navigate if need be, or change radio stations for that matter. So as you would say, the best of both worlds. Wow. All right, guys. Well, thanks for having us. Thanks for having me. And thanks for uh, telling us about the technology. See you next time.